currently playing 8 ball. <clears throat> it's really fun. I am losing. But who cares? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you or telling you 15 word facts about me. And I'm really weird. You're going to ask. Well, no, you can ask anybody because I'm new. But I am so weird. It's unbelievable. Even my mom calls me weird. Even my friends, they call me weird too. But that doesn't bother me because I accept it. I accept being weird. So, yeah, in today's video, as I already said, it's 15 more facts about me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below if you're weird or not because who's not weird? So anyway, let's get on to the video. Question number one, what is a nickname only your family calls you? And my friends call me this as well. It is just with just the four first letters of my name, H-I-T, wait, W-H-I-T. Guys, I just spelt my nickname wrong. That's sad. So yeah, it's just my first four letters of my name, wit, wit. Yeah, it's just kind of getting old, so people just, some people stop calling me that, but not really. Speaking of which, y'all should totally go follow me on my Instagram. It is at wits0502. I will have that link down below. Question number two. What is a word habit of yours? And my word habit is when I lie, I start talking so high. I don't even notice that I'm talking high at all. Wow, that sounds really weird. Or wrong. I don't know. But yeah, when I lie, I just start doing weird stuff like talking high, smiling, all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Question number three, do you have any weird phobias? And I don't have any weird phobias. I don't think I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have any weird phobias, but I am scared of clowns. People are like, oh, why are you scared of clowns? They're not scared at all. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So I am scared of clowns. Question number four. What is a song you secretly, like, blur out when you're home alone? And I've been listening to a lot of Disney songs right this, like, right now. And the one I keep blurring out is Under the Sea by The Little Mermaid. <laughs> uh, yeah. Every time I sing it, my dad just stares at me like, what in the world are you doing? And I'm just like, I'm sitting under the sea by the little mermaid. And he's like, you're weird. I'm like, I know I am. So yeah, Little Mermaid, wait, Under the Sea by Little Mermaid is the song that I've been secretly growing out. So yeah. Number five, what is one of your biggest pet TVs? I think I said that right. I hope I did. Anyway, it's like, once somebody takes out the trash, and they don't put a trash bag in the trash can, and you like, want to throw something away, but you can't because your hands are full, and then there's not a trash bag in the trash can, that's one of them. It just gets on my nerves so bad. And do you know what's so funny? I'm the one who has to put the trash bag in the trash can every time it gets taken out. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, next question. Question number six. What is your what is one of your most nervous habits? I don't even think I'm saying this right, guys. So when I get nervous, my face starts to turn red, my whole body starts to turn red, everything just turns red. And I get sudden of memory loss when I get so nervous. Like I memorize something and I memorize it perfectly and I say it the way it is but when I get so nervous everything just goes blank that is a habit that I'm trying to break but I can't because it happens every time <sighs> so yeah memory loss question number seven what side of the bed do you sleep on and guys I don't know what side of the bed I sleep on I sleep in the middle, is that even a side, the middle? I sleep in the middle of the bed, but push come to shove, I'm like having a sleepover or something, I will sleep on the left side because that's 
where the wall is. I'm like sleeping near a wall. So if I could, I would sleep on the left side of my bed. Number eight, what was your first stuffed animal and what did you name it? Uh, my first stuffed animal was a little red bear or brown. I can't remember, but I still have it to my toy chest. But it was a little red bear and I named it Little Red and it was the cutest thing ever. And I got it the first day I entered this world. The first day I entered this world. And I still have it. It's like, it's like the size of my hand, like that small. It's still cute. And his name is Little Red. I mean, how cute is that? <sighs> Number nine, what do you always, or what drink do you always order from Starbucks? Guys, can I just say I'm addicted to Starbucks? Oh my gosh, I go there every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. And the drink that I always order is a Trente Passion Tea with sweetener. It is bomb. Even though people don't say bomb anymore, it's bomb. Passion Tea with sweetener. <laughs> Question number 10. Which way do you face in the shower? And I face the back side of the shower. Like, here's the shower head and here's, the ba here's my back. I face the back side of the shower. I don't know why, but I just do. Do y'all face the back side of the shower or the front side? Let me know in the comments down below. Question number 11. Do you have any weird body skills? And I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't think I have any weird body skills. Yeah, I don't think I have any weird body skills. Even though I said that like 16,000 times. So, no, I do not have any weird body skills. Question number 12. What is your favorite comfort food? Even though it's bad, you still eat it. And that, my darlings, are Takis. Oh my gosh. Just thinking about them gets my mouth so watery. I love Takis. They have to be my favorite thing on this entire planet. Plus my favorite ice cream. But Takis has to be my favorite. Oh, if I could, I would eat them every day, but my mouth would be on fire. I love the Takis Fuego kind. They are so good. Oh, and Boom Chicka Pop. I love Boom Chicka Pop. But Takis have to be my favorite comfort food. Question number 13. What is a phrase you always say? And I don't think this is a phrase, but I always say dang it. Every time I drop something or mess up or do anything, I say the word dang it. And every time I say that in public, people are like, that's a bad word. That's a very bad word. But when I say it at home, people say it's not a bad word. So I say the word dang it a lot. And I mean a lot. So yeah. What do you wear when you're going to sleep? And I wear a t-shirt, a very, very large t-shirt or flannel shirt with some awesome comfy shorts. PJ shorts or long shorts pants, PJ pants, because it depends on what the weather is. So yeah, if it's summer, I will be wearing shorts and a flannel shirt, and if it's winter, I'll be wearing a flannel shirt and long fuzzy pants. Yeah. This is weird questions. What did you used to wear thought was cool, but it wasn't? <sighs> I don't know. Hmm. I think... I used to wear scrunchies a lot, then I got people saying, Whitney scrunchies are not cool anymore, I'm like, oh, so I have to say scrunchies, even though I still wear them, scrunchies, <laughs> scrunchies, <laughs> scrunchies. <laughs> So I hope you guys like this 15 word facts about me tag. I really do, even though I'm so still weird. But anyway, I hope you guys like this. If you do, please subscribe to my channel because that would mean bunches to me. And give this video a thumbs up. And comment down below if you're weird or not. Even though I said that in my intro. But still do it. So yeah, comment down below if you're weird or not. Because I will love you no matter what you are. I love you.